Very few people get to meet their heroes, and even fewer get to become best friends with them. And Jose was both to me. I bought a high-end camera, it's a consumer camera, and started following him around. Over the years, I just collected all this footage, but um, the tape started deteriorating around the early 2000s, and um, they were no longer viewable. I almost threw them away once. I thought, well, these are no good. I mean, it was heartbreaking to even look at them and see that they were no good. But I said, no, I can't. So I put them in a box, I put them in a closet, and then lo and behold, this technology comes along and it shakes and bakes out the moisture and you can view the tape again, you can transfer it. And it was just, it was like a miracle because this footage I haven't seen maybe in 20 years, I was able to see again of Jose at the cemetery, cabaret performances, um, interviews, singing. That's the footage, a lot of that, the old stuff where he was performing is gonna be in the film. My name is Joe Castell. I'm a writer, a screenwriter, playwright, and I am the executive producer for Nelly Queen. My name is Daniel Edoviches Carrera. I am a filmmaker, I'm a film director, editor, screenwriter, it just depends on the year and the project. My name is Dante Lencastre, I'm a filmmaker and activist. I was born in Lima, Peru. There's so much great footage. There's over 60 hours of footage that's never, that's never been seen before that I'm really eager to start cutting into. It's been too long. It's, it's time for this film to exist. He accepted himself in spite of everything, all the challenges that he was facing. So I equate a lot of his struggles back in the 60s with the struggles of the trans community now. I also feel it's really relevant and, and, and behooves us as artists and storytellers that we do preserve our history and we tell our history our own way. I was just so inspired by someone who would get up on tabletops during that time period and scream things like, gay is good. He really was establishing all of those binaries, these complex binaries that we're still examining today. And I don't think that we've fully resolved them. The, the binary between masculine and feminine, drag and transgender, uh, Latino versus patriot versus just what, what it means to be an American in, this, you know, in the modern day. He predated Stonewall, he predated Harvey Milk, and yet somehow we don't know about him. I don't, I don't understand why that is, and I think that this film can really take us in a direction of changing that. Because Jose lived to his ripe age of 90, uh, people either forgot about him or thought that he was already dead. And his accomplishments that were numerous have long been forgotten. Jose, before he passed away, he wanted something done on his life. So he, he would leave a legacy. Uh, what he did to help the community, to help his city. If you think this project is important. If you think this has merit and Jose deserves a place in history, please give whatever you can to help us finish it. You know, no amount is too small. We have some fabulous incentives.